We are coming to you live from campus in Centennial Quad. Over here we've got Alec, we've got Danny, we've got Rose, and we've got Pat. So we decided to do this in person to get to know each other because we got tired of just talking over Zoom all the time. So yeah. So first, I'm gonna be introducing Alec over here. Alec is a fourth year student from Atlanta, Georgia. He is actually a member of the varsity soccer team. Um, Alec is the youngest member in all of his family, uh, immediate family and extended family. He's an avid coffee fan. His go-to on campus is the iced vanilla latte from Tate. Uh, I prefer the iced caramel latte, but it's respectable. Um, he used to have five cats. Uh, now it's dwindled down to two, but he's a big cat guy. Uh, I'm not a big fan of cats, but we'll roll with it. Um, believe it or not, Alec is actually a citizen of three countries. He's a citizen of Australia, Poland, and the United States. Uh, Poland and Australia would be two countries I'd also love to travel to, uh, as well as my two teammates back here. Um, Alec also really likes to cook complex foods, uh, which is interesting, uh, but I don't blame him because he doesn't do it much because of all the effort and time it takes to clean it up, which is uh, not my forte. And to end off this intro, we are going to do, say a little acrostic about uh, our team member and what relates to them. So for Alec, A, He's athletic. For L, he loves chocolate chip cookies. For E, he's ecstatic to be back on campus. And for C, he loves to come and chill in Centennial Quad with the boys. So, Alec? All right. My name is Alex Spinsky. I'll be introducing Dan. Fun fact about Dan is that he started at Northeastern in the NUN program in Rome, along with these two people. He also loves to make his own coffee. Uh, he prefers the Americano, which I've never had, so I can't vouch for. Like Pat said, I prefer the iced vanilla latte from Tate. He also loves to travel, and he's been to Hong Kong, Singapore, Rome, and I'm sure many other cities. Dan also likes barbecue, much like myself. He also likes Crave, math for chicken, chicken and waffles. Yes, Shout do. out to Crave. And he's also in, used to be an avid rower in high school. Um, his acrostic going in reverse chronicle on a chronological order oh. is that he never has a bagel that's not from New York or New Jersey. He always makes his own coffee. And for D, he dislikes haters. <laughs> Passing it on to Dan. Alright, so now I'm going to introduce Rose over here. So pretty much Rose did anyone in Rome, just like uh, me, uh, me and Patrick right over here. Um, she has a blue Jeep Wrangler named Hank. I also have a blue Jeep Wrangler named Bart, like Bart though. Um, she used to figure skate for most of her life. Um, I can't skate at all, period. So um, wish I could do that. Uh, all right, Rose is also named after a cow. Um, additionally, that cow has a photo in her Canadian house but uh, she doesn't have a photo in that very same house. So, uh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Um, she, like, she's from the Chicago area, but does not like Chicago. Um, I'm from the New York area, but I like New York, so slight difference there. But uh, moving on to the acrostic, just like uh, me, and, uh, me and Pat over here, she went to Anyone Rome, as I mentioned before. For O, uh, she has a cat named Opium, S, she also has a fish named Supli, and E, she's looking forward to going to England at some point. And here you go. I'm Rose McFadden, and I'm gonna be introducing Patrick Gilmore. So he's the third Pat in his family, except that he's not actually a third because his middle name was changed. He's from New Jersey, and we're all very proud of him because he finally learned how to pump his own gas. A few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. <laughs> Big moment in his life. Currently, he's on the club baseball team here, and we wish we could see him play, but unfortunately, COVID. Um, back in Rome, he was on the varsity basketball team and actually named the captain there. I never went to a game, but I'm sure you did great. <laughs> Pat has a dog named Mac that's an 11-year-old cute puppy, but not really a puppy. And he has a bit of anxiety, so Mac likes to guard things from his own owners in his house. If you try to take away something from him, he will bite at you, possibly. <laughs> but he's still charming. 
Pat also had many summer jobs. Over this summer, he just completed his co-op, but before that, he coached kids as well. And he also worked at a local restaurant as a delivery driver. And before that, he was also a landscaper. So he has lots of experience, great hire for the future. That's acronym for P. He's passionate about investing. For A, he's an attentive Texas Hold'em player. And for T, he thinks that country music is the best. Now on a professional note, Alex's first co-op was at Brown Brothers Harriman working in uh, alternatives. Dan's first co-op was at Wayfair. But Rose's first co-op was at Acrolinx. And Pat's first co-op was at Boston Consulting Group. Now we'd like to show off our cartwheel skills for you that we've been working on. 